Welcome back to Craftardia and weapon modding in Fallout 4. Today we will take a look at the rifles that Fallout 4 offers. We will start with the railway rifle. This is a weird one because the ammo for it are spikes. Being a weird rifle, it also doesn't have many options. It only has a standard and automatic piston receiver. The auto piston receiver improves the rate of fire of the spikes but lowers the range. I took it because I generally like faster weapons. I also like the long range but I had to sacrifice something and it is better to penetrate a motherfucker 10 times at close range than 2 times at long range. Being stealthy with a weapon that fires spikes is stupid anyways. There are only two barrels available and I chose the long one because it recovers the range I lost when picking the piston receiver. It fucks up the hip fire accuracy, but if I choose a decent scope then this won't be a problem. When it comes to the stock I gotta take either the standard one or the recoil compensated one, which is better than the standard in every way, so it should always be picked up. I was surprised to see that a rifle that shoots spikes has this many scopes available. Almost every possible scope in the game can be placed onto it, from simple sights to night and recon scopes. I took the recon scope because I can and it makes no sense to do it. Why would a spike shooting weapon have commando parts? It seems ridiculous and I wanted to embrace the ridiculousness. The final part to mod is the muzzle that allows either nothing or the bayonet. I mean really, you have a weapon that penetrates people and you will not put a bayonet on the tip of it? Don't be silly. Naming was relatively simple, the penetrator is the only logical name this weapon could have. While holding it, it seems as though it has all the power in the world, having the recon scope also makes it fancier than it is, and shooting, well, I wanted the shooting to be more substantial, but it is what it is. The next weapon we'll be modding is the Assault Rifle. I don't care too much about this rifle, but it does have the biggest amount of moddable parts. The receivers are all the same as with the 10mm poop tart and I decided to pick the rapid automatic receiver that makes the rifle automated with a very fast rate of fire, but it fucks up the damage and range. It's an assault rifle so its purpose is to assault someone very quickly, so I think this is fitting. There are a few barrels available that all affect the recoil and hip fire accuracy and I went with the vented barrel because it is simply the best. If you have the resources you should always pick this one because all other parts are just a weaker version of the vented barrel. The stock can be full, marksman's or recoil compensated. When it comes to recoil each stock is better than the one before but the marksman helps you aim better with a scope so I picked that one. The magazines are familiar from before and I went with the quick eject drum mag because it's fast and cool. Scopes are plentiful, which is exactly why I went with the marksman stock, it makes a big difference when aiming. I decided to pick the long scope since it is the best out of the normal scopes. Of course night vision and recon scopes are better, but sometimes you just don't need to take the best things, even if you want to. Everything is good in moderation, don't be a greedy bitch, it's unhealthy. The muzzles offer the standard choices and I opted to not take anything since the assault rifle is perfectly fine as it is. I didn't have any creative ideas about naming this bitch so I chose Assault Me Fast. Goes pretty well with the magnum cannon from the previous video. Holding this weapon feels crazy awesome, mostly because of the drum magazine, it makes it very meaty and it appears strong. Shooting from the hip feels stupid as expected but when aiming through the scope it's very nice. Next up is the combat rifle. This rifle is cool because there are two receivers available that can change its caliber. I love that because you essentially have access to three different weapons with a few mods. The 308 caliber is the Winchester rifle caliber so I went with it. Now keep in mind that I know very little about weapons, I just really like Supernatural. There are a lot of barrels available for this rifle, probably the most I have seen so far. Longer barrels positively affect range and accuracy, while shorter ones help with recoil. I went with the long ported barrel because I'm turning the combat rifle into a sniper, if you haven't noticed yet. Stocks don't have any new parts and I went with the marksman stock because it improves aim with scopes and the scope is quite important on a sniper rifle. Since the magazines didn't have the drum mags available I could only go with the normal ones and I picked the large quick eject mag because it is the best, it can hold the biggest amount of ammo and it has a fast reloading time. Now the most important part, the scope. Interestingly there is a front scope available for this rifle, I don't believe any other rifle has this option, so that was pretty nice to see, but I decided to go with the long scope since it is the best normal scope and it should be good enough. Muzzle modding offered a bayonet aside from the standard options, but I went with a suppressor. Somewhere during the customization I started thinking about how this would be a very good ass sniper, and the best way to snipe someone in the ass is by using a silenced sniper. So there you have it, the ass sniper. Next we have the hunting rifle. This rifle also has two different caliber receivers, 38 and 50. I went with the 50 caliber one, 
because I like round numbers. Barrels are mostly the same as the combat rifle and I took the long light barrel. The stock can be full or marksman's and I opted to go with the full one. I got sick of the marksman's stock, too many of my rifles already have it. Magazines are also the same as before and this time I decided to go with a medium quick eject mag because I like how it looks, the long mag doesn't seem very fitting for this sniper. There are a lot of sights available but I wanted to have one rifle with night vision so I took the long night vision scope. As for the muzzle, I decided to take the bayonet. I realized that the suppressor would probably be better since I have the night vision scope, but this was originally a hunting rifle, so I also decided to use it as a hunting weapon. So once you shoot the animal you're hunting, you can use the bayonet to do some additional stabbing and gutting. Naming this weapon was difficult at first, but then I started thinking about things that rhyme with hunt, and since I visited James Blunt's Twitter recently, he's the first one who came to mind. So this weapon will be used to hunt James Blunt. I'm aware that I probably won't be able to find him in the game, but it's better to be safe than sorry. The last rifle we will be modding is the shittiest one, and you have already seen it in the previous video, because we modded the pipe pistol into a rifle. To quickly summarize what I did this time, I gave the rifle a stub barrel so it looks stupid, I put the sharpshooter's grip so it becomes a pistol, I gave it a large quick eject magazine, standard sights and a compensator as a muzzle. Since this rifle is now a pistol, I feel like it is fair since the pistol from the first video became a rifle. I call this weapon facial reconstruction, because it has short range and decent damage, so you're expected to come close, shoot someone in the face and be happy about it. That does it for all the rifles in Fallout 4. There's not a whole lot of different modding options for them compared to the pistols, but it is possible to create a few different types of weapons and customize them to your liking. I obviously like the penetrator the most because it shoots spikes. You could say that it's not really a rifle then, more like a special weapon, but I say fuck that, let it be a rifle if it wants to. Thanks for watching and make sure to let me know which one of these weapons is your favorite. I have been Petard, your glorious lord, and I shall see you next time.